now you you said the word controversial and i want to dive into a little bit more about season four i've spoken to um, a few of the queens on season four um and one that was known to be controversial was miss willem and willem mm -hmm. has been outspoken you know over the time and kind of like exposing the backdrop of what the production was and when i spoke to her yeah. she you know mentioned the times that there were times where you guys would be given like a low amount of money like 70 dollars for food for 12 queens and she's talked about latrice being called la something and then i talked to latrice about it and latrice was like yeah that was you know it was low low budget low like, you know at the time it wasn't what you know drag race is today did you experience similar situations to what willem and latrice and fifi and stuff have talked about uh yeah i i mean yeah i think we all did i mean i remember there was an infamous day where we were like on episode i think it was three or episode four and we were running low on hairspray and we were running low on kind of drag and like you know we because we really were we were told to bring a certain amount of bags and then on top of that i think that there was like that it, it was just it was a lot of yeah it was very it was very beginner that was that was a, that was the real nice way to put it but um, they were like, you know, couldn't say our names. They couldn't, you know, they really didn't understand, I think, how to work with drag queens. And Chad Michaels, I remember, was the one who stepped up and really said, you need to know all of our names. You need to, like, you know, take us to get hairspray. Like, there's certain things that we need to have, like, that drag queens have to have. And so I remember that day, that was one day. And then there were like a few times where, you know, they would say, you know, they'd be trying to like space you out on the runway with the cameras and they would say Didi and I would say Dita. Like, you know, really like very that. Um, I try my hardest in those situations because I do understand like in those type of situations, people are just trying to get stuff done and they're, they're just like, it's it's not even running through their head to be polite or like even try to, you know, but I think in those situations, I always try to be, like, a little funny, but I'm also, I let them know, like, I may be the good child who's not giving you guys trouble, but at the same time, I will. Like, D-Da. Like, that's my name, honey. So, you know, and, and I remember the person that I did that to, they were like, you know, like, sorry. And I was like, you know, it's, it's okay. Like, but, you know, there was only, that was like, eh, I don't really, I didn't really have as much problems, really, when I was there with production. I didn't really see much. I mean, as you look back, I mean, the wheels turn now and you like see, and you're like, oh, that made sense. And, you know, like things like that. You know, I, I remember like one infamous moment, I was coming back from an interview and walking into the workroom and one of the producers said to me, the next song, the song of the, the next lip sync song will be this will be. And I was like, okay. And like that was, cause that's like how I remember like, you know, about that day. But I was like, oh, okay. Like, cause it was supposed to be something else. And then it got switched to this will be. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't really experience like much craziness. It was, it was maybe afterwards. There were some things I have questions about, but that's it. <laughs> Did you? I know that um, when I spoke to Willem, he said that you know, of course, Willem was the rule breaker from what we've heard. Did you ever break mm -hmm. any rules? Um, I I broke some rules. I broke some rules, definitely. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I broke some rules, and I you know had my own little fun there. Um, I, I, oh my God, do I, I wonder if I tell this story, like I, I've never really told this story before, oh my God, do I tell it, do I tell yes, it, I guess I'm okay, right? Okay, so, I, <laughs> so, Willem, you know, Willem got disqualified because she, you know, uh, one of the things I know that happened was she left to go to the store to go get some products because at the time production wasn't really like, you know, really working with us about getting products. And I needed products myself. And Willem, I think the thing that about me and Willem that clicked so well is that Willem saw that all this was new to me. And I was trying to balance like my temperamental, like Midwesternness with how to handle like, I guess, Hollywood producers. And so, you know, Willem offered if I wanted to, like, ride with her to the store. And I did. I rode with her to the store. And I've never said that publicly because I, uh, Willem took a lot of the thought for that, I think, because I think Willem had a plan a little bit, you know, just keeping it real. <laughs> but I, I think she also took a lot of thought for that because she knew that I, was, I couldn't handle that scrutiny of maybe being caught. 
So I, I've never really told that story. And I told Willem that one day I would tell that story. I think she's been very forthright about her part of what happened in the disqualification. But if this show was called Exposed, I think why not expose like a real true secret I've been hiding for a really long time. So, but that, I mean, that was the truth. I mean, you know, I went with her to the store and I could have easily gotten disqualified myself. And she kept that secret. I mean, we both kept that secret from all of the girls, you know, the entire cast. No one knew because we knew how messy it could get. We knew, I mean, I knew that much. I knew I could easily be, you know, this could be a storyline of the show and I don't want that. You know, I, I want to behave, I, you know, I want to be, I want to behave myself, you know, but yes, that happened. Oh, oh, spilled the tea there. Are you, are you still friends with um, any of your season four girls? Are you still close with any of them? Um, yes, I am. I mean, I'm cool with Willem. Obviously, Willem and I are very close. We talk often. Um, Jiggly Caliente, um, Latrice I talk to here and there. Sometimes, like, LaShawn Beyond and I will exchange, like, messages. Um, and Kenya, um, LaQueer, like, randomly, like, talk to them. <laughs> I actually recently just uh, messaged Alyssa Summers because I was like just thinking about her so I just messaged her and was like oh how are you like sending you some love